Hello, everybody. It is me, Lady Hell with chsocial.com. And in this episode today, we're going to talk about telling your brand story. Okay, as you know, we have been doing some episodes lately that we have been talking about building a solid foundation with our business. In today's episode, we're going to talk about the brand story. All right, everybody has a brand story that resonates with their clients, who they're talking to, etc. What is the purpose of the brand story? Story, Lady Hell, why do I need to tell people my story? Well, telling people your story is another way for people to become connected with the brand um, that you have. It's another way to actually begin to recruit those brand loyalists who are who will talk about your brand to other people, who will mention it on social media, and let them know that the service that you have is the service that they ought to be receiving and they cannot live without. That is the power of creating a brand story. I, another way is that you show the client that the or the, the consumer that you care more than about them just purchasing your products, but you actually do care about them as a person. Coca-Cola did a wonderful, I mean a wonderful example of this. If you have the opportunity and you go on YouTube, when you go on YouTube, look up the uh, Coca-Cola, and I, I believe it was in India somewhere, where there were two, uh, where there were two races that were they were fighting against each other. They weren't talking to each other. One person would be on one side of the railroad tracks, and the other person would be on the other side of the railroad tracks, and they just wouldn't talk to each other. They did not know each other. They couldn't, you know, it was just really a turbulent time um, in the city, and it's and it's says smile the 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 campaign is called smile for a coke and what they did was they put a coke machine in the right on the borderline and on one side the person can go get the coke and on the other side the other person could go get a coke and when they um when they got a coke the screen would come on and they would wave and it will say smile for a Coke. And they literally had to look at the person and smile and wave. And once they smile and wave and guess what? A Coke would come out and then they could have a Coke. And there was like a little shop that was right there. And when the shop was right there, the two who had been disagreeing for a long time and now they, you know, they're actually agreeing that one person can go into another state and all that. They, they actually can go together, fellowship, talk, and really just get to know each other all while sharing a Coke. The story is so powerful. I mean, that is one of the most powerful is branding marketing type of thing I've ever seen and it brung people together and it let people begin to start talking and you start to see smiles around both sides of the city even though both of um both people on both sides might not have totally agreed with everything that was going on or might not totally agree with their religious beliefs or might not totally agree with their political um I believe, but that Coke sparked a conversation. Is your brand having that impact? It might not be at, on a scale like that, but is your brand having an impact where it's begin to spark a conversation outside of your brand? But your, but that the the way they did that, oh my goodness, they that that little piece, that one piece, began to solve community problems, and it began to show that Coke. They were concerned not only just about their product because they did talk about their product, but however, the product, the, the, the story was bigger than the Coke. The story was about Coke bringing people together. Okay. So that was, that, that was a very powerful example of a brand story that brings people together because while drinking Coke, you can talk with your friends while drinking Coke, you can do that. Okay. And so then Coke becomes a, a symbol, a symbol of hope, a symbol of reconciliation for that community. Okay. So that story alone brought brand recognition to the brand, but also showed the people in the, in those communities that they were concerned. They weren't really concerned about, they know people going to drink Coke, whether they talk or not, but however, when a drink can bring someone together to initiate a conversation, to initiate peace, 
what a lasting effect that would have on their brain, you know, what they would have on their brand. So we got to have Coke at, at our party. We got to have Coke at our party because once a person get a Coke, guess what? They're going to start talking. And I love Coca-Cola as well. And I'm not, this is not sponsored by Coca-Cola or anything like that. But however, I love it how their marketing department has really took it on the social impact of, um, of that. Another great, when I was young, the Budweiser, which is a beer company, they had a, the frogs and the frogs were sitting up there, Bud wise or Bud wise or, and every time we see the stupid little frogs, we will say, Bud wise or, and then, and we can, and we'll talk, start talking. We weren't even drinkers, but we began to talk about the brand and we begin to talk about the impact that it had. And it sparked the conversations that was outside of, uh, of, of really what they were trying to promote. So with you, you have to establish your brand story. You have to establish your brand story. That's going to have people talking about your brand and they're going to see you more as a, as a business that's trying to promote a product, but more of a business that's trying to establish that no, number one, we're not just concerned about making this money because we're going to make money with whether, however you think about it, but however you present yourself as a, as a business that not only makes money, but a business that cares about the people and the community in which they serve. You have to stay abreast about the community and the people in which you serve because it makes no sense for you to make millions and millions of dollars off people whom you don't know nothing about. It's a, it's, it's a, it's, it's a travesty that if your business is not seen giving back to the community that served you, you know, um, it, it, it'll be a travesty if, if, um, the community that in which I live, that I have no impact in. Okay, that would be a travesty to my community. Why? Because why can't a, a a business owner like myself go to the school and help out the kids? Go to the um, high school and maybe help some CTE children or different things of that nature who are getting into business, who are getting into marketing, who might get into graphics, who might get into sublimation, who might get into hosting or whatever the case may be. I own a couple of different businesses, but however. It will, it will be a travesty for me not to even give, give back or show people or show individuals how they can do some things as well. How can they start their business? Okay. One of the pu- purpose of CH social marketing is that I have a whole marketing business and, um, that's in our business forum, but I do a, a, a podcast. I try to do it as much as I can, but I do a podcast and I share different things like this, like building your brand story. Why are people talk, you know, or on your Facebook, are you promoting more? than just what you're selling. Are you promoting things that are relevant to the people whom you serve? Who, you know, if you don't even know your demographics and we're going to talk about that when we get into the, um, who is my client and all that good stuff like that. But I want you to build the foundation for your business and you got to get your story out there. You got to give, give them your why you have to answer your, your, your question. What is my why? Simon, um, see me, I think his name is Simon Simiak. And he, he got like, it's a book that's called the question of your why or, or what is your why? And it goes in and he, and he goes and he shows you how to, um, how to really identify that why and help you really narrow it down. I'm going to give it to you in a nutshell. You have to understand your why. Why are you in business? Why are you doing what you do? Why, why, why? Because everybody wants to know your why, because the market is bigger than what you're offering. It's always, it's all, it's bigger. It's just bigger. Remember that it is bigger than what you're offering because now people want to feel connected to a purpose. Like I said, in the beginning, people want to stick to a purpose that is connected to them. Yes. People want to be a part of a purpose that's bigger than them. They want to be a part of a purpose that that's impacting their world. And they want to be a part of something that's changed. People buy into something that they want to be a part of. People put their money into something that they want to be a part of. And why should those consumers, all those 7 million, 7 billion people that are on this earth, why should even a, not even 1% of them even support you? What's your story? 
you have to ab- you have to establish what is your story, okay? And one of my business, one of my stories is to help uh, 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 crafting individuals or creative individuals who want to come in the world of sublimation. And I've created an ink that um, that's affordable that can be used on a noobs level or on a newbie level and also on a professional level. And I come with tips and tutorials telling people how to craft, how to do their shirts, how to do you know, external products, et cetera. And we provide, and if I find a great rate on blanks, I'll provide those blanks at a very affordable price where they can make a substantial, uh, re- uh, return on that and everything. And I got classes and all types of different things like that, showing people how to make things and, and, and whatnot. And that has been beneficial. And it was for noobs, for people who come in, in the industry, for people who might not, have, you know, they might not, you know, they can't have a master's in marketing like Lady Hell does or whatever, because it's really expensive. And I got the student loans to prove it's very, very, very expensive. But however, I give them tips and tutorials and I don't just give them raggedy, stanky tips. I give them real tips that will help in their, you know what I'm saying? That will help in their business and whatnot. And it, and I have seen people who, who, who wasn't even making a hundred dollars a month now making $2,500, $5,000 a month based off the free tips that they got in our group, the free tips that they want when they're watching our tutorial, free tips that they have never paid me for consultation for but they took everything in which I told them and apply it to their, to their business and have seen that increase. That's why here on CA social, we're making sure that we'll give, we're giving you the information that you need that would help you increase your business by 50 to 60%. The tips that I'm giving you are tips. Indeed you would pay for, okay. People that pay $500,000 to go to these various, uh, conferences and whatnot. And a lot of this stuff, I am giving it to you for free. So when you, do go to my master's master class. I'm not necessarily doing all this beginning stuff or anything like that. We're going straight for the gusto because it's a, I have a tons of free products that are available to you for absolutely free from starting your business, running your business, promoting your business, etc. that is going to be out there, um, for you and everything. So I am so excited. I'm finishing up this master's in marketing program. So I have an MS in ma- digital marketing, um, there from Full Sail University. I'm excited about that. Last month is March. So y'all, I hate writing. I really do hate writing. Y'all don't understand. I hate my writing with a passion um, and whatnot, but it's funny. The things that I have wrote has been my greatest blessing to me. All right. So anyway, guys, I am out of here. Remember to establish your brand story. I want to hear your brand story. You can go, you can go over there on Facebook. Um, you can, I'll, I'll put something up on one of my pages and in the comment session, leave your brand story. Tell us about your brand. All right. Tell us, tell us your why, give us your why. So establish your why found you find your why. And we'll be talking to you very soon on CH social marketing.com. I, and again, y'all want to apologize for those last two podcasts. I was sitting up there recording it guys in my recording thing. And it was, it was mixing real crazy. So I'm like, you know what, let me bring out the pro tools. Cause I don't know. I mean, I'm not using pro tools. I'm using logic pro, but I said, let me, let me bring out the good stuff because when I mix my stuff down, it's all staticky and stuff. And y'all know that is not my style, but the content is so great. So I apologize for that. I'll make sure that, um, going forward that we'll just definitely have clear audio. So God bless you. Thank you so much for tuning in to CA social where we're helping you increase your ROI by 50 to 60%. God bless.